Let's look at five steps to make $100 a month in dividends and potentially way more. Number one, choose a target dividend yield. When you're buying dividend paying stocks, it is important to pay attention to the dividend yield. The dividend yield is a measure of how much in dividends you are receiving per year relative to the stock price. For example, if a stock is trading for $100 per share and the company pays out $2 per share in dividends each year, the dividend yield would be 2%. While the dividend yield is not the only factor you should consider when buying stocks, it can give you an idea of how much income you can expect to receive from your investment. Choosing stocks with a dividend yield of 3-5% to is a good rule of thumb. However, it is important to remember that dividend yield can fluctuate over time so it's important to monitor them closely. Number two, determine how much you need to invest. If you're trying to make $100 a month, we have to times that by 12 months, which comes out to $1,200 a year. Now, let's say that your target dividend yield is 4%. So we divide $1,200 by 0 0.04, which gives you $30,000. That means you would have to invest $30,000 to get your $100 a month. Number three, choose your stocks. When it comes to dividend stocks, there are a few things you should keep an eye out for. First, you want to make sure that the company has a history of paying out dividends. This isn't always easy to track down, but it's worth the effort. Second, you'll want to choose companies with your target dividend yield like we talked about earlier. Finally, you'll want to take a close look at the company's financials. This includes things like their earning history and their debt levels. By doing your homework, you can help ensure that you are investing in a solid dividend paying stock. It's also important to diversify. This means buying stocks from a variety of different companies in different industries. That way, if one sector hits a rough patch, your entire portfolio won't suffer. Furthermore, diversification will help you maximize your chances of finding the next big thing. Number four, invest money into your portfolio each month. If you really want to see your portfolio grow, you need to commit to investing a set amount of money each month. Just like you make sure your house payment is taken care of each month, you need to make sure you're investing into your portfolio on a regular basis. And just like you wouldn't miss a house payment, you shouldn't miss an opportunity to invest. So set aside some money each month and make investing a priority. Your future self will thank you for it. Before I move on to the last step, make sure you subscribe and click the bell. That way you'll be the first to see my next money-making video. Number five, reinvest the dividends. When you reinvest, you're not only getting the interest from your original investment, but you're also getting the interest on that interest. That's what we call compound interest, and it's a powerful tool to help you grow your money. And as those dividends continue to grow, so does the value of your portfolio. So if you want your portfolio to grow, reinvesting your dividends is one of the best ways to make that happen. Click the video on the screen to see another money-making video.